you know people say don't be so emotional but at the same time they also feel that controlling emotion is hard people lose themselves when they get emotional they feel helpless it's like when you're emotional you can't control your own body why is this such a problem and how can we fix it that's what we are going to talk about in today's video hi everyone i'm dr siddharth warrior and in today's video i'm going to tell you what emotions are and how can you regulate them if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet do so it means a lot to me and you get to see more such videos on your timeline what are emotions it's something that we've all experienced we've all felt happy sad angry jealous but biologically speaking emotions are neurochemicals in the brain that go up and down depending on what is happening in life our brain is constantly reacting to what is going on and emotions are the fundamental reactions in the brain at the limbic system level now if you've been a subscriber of the channel you already know that the limbic system is the most primitive part of the brain in other words emotions are inevitable if you are alive and you're experiencing things you will have emotions what are the neurochemicals that lead to emotion there are many of them but i'll tell you the three important ones there is dopamine which leads to happiness there is serotonin which if it falls it leads to sadness and there is adrenaline which leads to excitement but also fear and panic now there are other chemicals as well like oxytocin that leads to bonding and testosterone and estrogen and progesterone all of these chemicals come together to give you emotions now that you know that emotions are inevitable what happens after that if you picture the brain imagine emotions coming from the limbic system gradually your prefrontal cortex which is the most evolved part of the brain has to become aware of these emotions and that is what we call feeling there is a difference between emotion and feeling as your prefrontal cortex becomes aware of the emotion that is when the feelings come in feelings are subjective it depends on you who you are what your memories are what is your identity what is your belief system what is the situation that you are in all these things will affect how you feel about an emotion so something can happen that can make you have anger as an emotion but will you feel angry depends on the situation or depends on you if you are not the type of person to get angry you might not feel it but that doesn't mean that the emotion of anger is not there i hope that difference is clear to you but what happens after you get a feeling then you get a thought a thought is the first clear sentence that pops into your head about an emotion for example i hate this place or i love this person all of these sentences are thoughts that come from an emotion and finally after a thought comes an action which is oh let me get out of here or let me go and talk to her so now let's understand the entire flow there is emotion in the limbic system the prefrontal cortex eventually gets the feeling it then leads to a thought which then leads to an action from the motor cortex this is how we go through life now that you've understood what emotions are let's talk about emotional regulation and i want to tell you about four levels of emotional regulation level 1 zero regulation you get an emotion and you act there is no difference between emotion feeling and thought and this is how animals operate when something happens to them their limbic system reacts in an emotional way and that emotion gets played out as an action a good human example is road rage and we've all seen these people getting out of the car thrashing somebody without thinking this is when a human being loses complete control over their actions and they're acting out of pure emotion whether that's fear anger love or jealousy there is no prefrontal cortex only limbic level 2 is when there is some regulation the prefrontal cortex is aware of the emotion it can even modulate the emotion but when the emotion becomes too strong then the prefrontal cortex is overwhelmed and this is when you can see that somebody is trying to control themselves but their action still tells you that they are feeling emotional level 3 is a good amount of regulation where the prefrontal cortex has control so much so that they are able to suppress the emotion so somebody from the outside can't even tell if this person is emotional or not but 
inside they are feeling all of that emotion so much so that they may even be suppressing it and they themselves cannot deal with it in other words the prefrontal cortex cannot fully feel the emotion because it has suppressed it and level 4 is according to me the highest level of control which is the prefrontal cortex can not only feel the emotion but it can also modulate it which means it can decide how much to feel is this the right time to feel it if so can i feel all of it and can i still not act on it just have that feeling in place without letting the emotion control your actions. According to me, this is the highest level of emotional regulation that only a few people are able to achieve. So, how do you build emotional regulation? There are four steps. Number one is awareness. You cannot control what you cannot even see. So, first step is to simply become aware of your emotion. Ask yourself, what emotion are you going through? Are you happy? Are you sad? Are you angry? Are you jealous? Are you upset? The more you ask yourself this question and the more you talk or even better, the more you write, the more aware you become of your emotion. Learning to recognize emotion is a key step in regulation and this is where therapy helps. A lot of people need help even crossing this first level. And that's why I always recommend journaling to everyone if for nothing else just to become aware of your emotions. Initially, if you're caught in a very strong emotion, you will not be able to think logically. In other words, your prefrontal cortex is not working well. So before anything else, your first priority is to reduce the sympathetic activity in your limbic system and switch towards parasympathetic. We've already spoken about the sympathetic parasympathetic relationship and you know that one of the best ways to do this is by deep breathing. If you want to learn more about how you can use breath work to control your sympathetic system, you can watch this video right here. Start by doing this and it helps to make your step one, which is awareness, easier. Step number two is acknowledgement, which is after you are aware that this is my emotion, simply acknowledge that yes, this is what is happening with me. Understanding that emotions are inevitable and that you are not meant to fight it or suppress it. You don't have to feel guilty for having an emotion, but simply to acknowledge that this has happened to me and this is something that I am going through. Step number three is acceptance. This is where your prefrontal cortex decides how do you feel about that emotion. How does this emotion affect you? What does this make you want to say? What does this make you want to do? What memories does it trigger inside you? Accepting all of this is a part of emotional regulation. For both acknowledgement and acceptance, it helps to have some sort of support system. That is people that you can speak to or practices like gratitude journaling. Just remembering what you are grateful for and putting this emotion in the context of life helps you go through these steps better. And finally, when it comes to step number four, which is action, this is where you allow the emotion to become a feeling, which becomes a thought, which eventually leads to you doing something. Many people struggle with attaching the right action to an emotion. And for that, I personally recommend going for a walk. This is when you allow your body the freedom to move, but at the same time, you are not committing to a very specific course of action. Before you engage in any action which is more forceful, give that emotion action loop some time. Emotional regulation is an exercise that gets better and better with practice. I hope that this video helps you. If you have any questions about it, let me know. And if there are things that you have tried to control your emotions, I would love to hear about that as well. I hope this video has been helpful for you. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye everyone. Take care.